Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sauce Sassana here. Uh, today, just in case you guys don't know, uh, for some reason the Wi Fi is still kind of going crazy. And, uh, I, and I know it's the problem with uh, Windows Update. Because if I uninstall that Windows Update, it will be fine. But every time when I restart my computer, it installs that update automatically, even if, even if I choose not to. So if it drops, We'll get back really quickly, hopefully. And you know, just so you guys know, that is happening. So today we are going to smoke the Xeno Platinum uh, Z Crown. Um, you know, see if this is worth $90, right? $90, even though I didn't pay $90 for this, but uh, usually they are around the $80 to $90 price for this. Uh, we'll, we'll give that a try. I wanna say hi to Stan Heifer, uh, Joseph, Ash Queen, um, more Josephs, <laughs> uh, Wild Billy, um, and I think there was a few more people that I'm missing. Jason Martin, Willie Panero, uh, Nate Reed, and da -da 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 -da, Jason Martin, da -da -da, Matt Jocelyn, Dong Young Photos, uh, Buffalo, Buffalo Outdoor, uh, what else? And I think I saw earlier, uh, someone is at YouTube side asking to be added to the group. So uh, I think Martina Maya is actually on the other side. So Martina Maya, if you are on the side, get to that guy to see what we can do to get him into the group. All right. You got, you got my drink today, Tony. I still haven't tried it. What drink? What, what, what drink are you talking about? Uh, not to sound rude, but I don't think any cigar is worth ninety dollars. <laughs> Supply and demand. Supply and demand. And I, I mean, it it might not worth it, but a lot of time, you know, like there are times that when you try to make something when it's totally not worth the price, but you still want to buy it because it costs that much to do it. Oh, yeah, this is my usual drink. You know that my usual drink. I went out today, and and uh, for example. The injection thingy for uh, the insulin is not worth even four dollars, but yet you pay six hundred percent of its production price to get one, right? So a lot of times, it's like you know, they had to make their money back from doing something else, which the cost has increased. But I mean, this is only ninety, but. Oro Blanco is $500 and there are like thousand dollar cigars too so you know the Egyptian one is 200 something thousand right so if you think about that it's it, the, the price is really not worth it anything more than ten dollars is not worth it to be really honest with you it's how do they recoup their price <laughs> Um, I have a cigar that's worth more, but I, I have weak, what's rare and great cigar. I mean, for example, Unicorn, uh, Unicorn is a hundred dollar cigar, but like I said, a cigar's worth is when you bought it. I mean, the, the, the box costs price, uh, costs money, the cigar costs money and all that stuff, right? Once you smoke it, it's no longer worth that price. So is it worth for me to buy it again? We'll find out, right? Even though I did buy this, no. Heads up, I buy this many, many times. <laughs> uh, they were rocking along the Twitch three months already. I don't, what the, what? Uh, I got my new stick going. $500, okay, that's out of my Williams. <laughs> yeah, $500 for the uh, Oran Blanco, so. <laughs> so, let's see. Now, let me cut this open with my beautiful nail. Beautiful nail, beautiful nail, beautiful nail. Yep. Okay. And let's get some music started. And we'll have some some topic to talk about, I guess. Something like that. Let's see. So it's a slide open. I mean this is lacquered. 
box and it's painted black. So it's actually not that bad. And I, I, even though I, I, I wrote Robusto on the on the title today, this is actually a perfecto, I guess. Uh, you know, but the length, you know, we'll, we'll see. To be really honest with you, in terms of a ninety-dollar range, this cigar doesn't cost ninety dollars to make. I'm pretty sure of that. I mean, there's two bands, uh, and it still doesn't cost ninety dollars. You know, this this particular cigar cost me forty something. I bought it in the store that was on sale that day. Uh, Justin Wagner told me that it's on sale in the store that's nearby us. Let's go get it. So I went to get it, and literally, it was forty something dollars, right? Uh, and and that much for forty something dollars. <laughs> that's all you get, forty something dollars. It's like, uh, is it really worth it? If you try to pick up chicks, maybe. You'll be, you know, they were impressed. Like, oh, this guy just spent 40 something dollars for this tiny little thing. Maybe. But in usual cases, really? So yeah, uh, let's get this cut and light. Let's just do this today. Cut an angle. I know this is not gonna be accurate because the, the foot is sealed. This is black though. But we just light it. I do like the blue on the box though. Like, you know, back in the day, blue and purple are considered royal color. That's why I call it royal blue and royal purple. Because the amount of things it takes to make those colors ridiculous. Uh, I believe like something like purple, you had to kill like 1,000 snail or 10,000 snails just to make one ounce of that purple ink. Hence that became royal purple. Very, very, very deep flavor. It's a lot of cedar, a lot of cedar right away. Even I like, torch it like that, like right close to it, I don't even taste any of the bad taste that came from torching this to that. So in the beginning, it's very intense uh, in terms of the uh, uh, flavor, even though it looks kind of tunneling. A lot of cedar, a little bit of hay, uh, a little bit of earthiness, no pepper. Uh, they call this chubby. But isn't this considered perfecto? I don't know. Uh, sometimes they give different sizes and stuff like that, so... <laughs> Martin, I've been using this music way early than you. <laughs> way earlier than you. This thing has been on my playlist for uh, seven months. <laughs> uh... If it had a favorite tradition, I was uh, I was uh, boss worthy. What are you smoking right now? Why are you guys smoking right now? Put it in the comment. Let me know what you're smoking right now, so I, at least I can get you know what's going on. Seven seventy ogre or something like going crazy in a little bit strength. Okay. Hey Kyle. Oh, Sober Mesa Boulay, okay. Brian Wells, uh, that's not Brian Wells. Brian Wells is on top. <laughs> Brian WS, 89. Fotello, we have Voyage. Very good, very good, very good. I think I saw the picture of that Fotello earlier. Um, Sancho Penza, but can't remember the name. Well, Sancho Penza, most likely is a Cuban? Depends. Because Central Penza does make non Cuban, but you know, it's hon either Honduran or Cuban. <laughs> Bella Art by AJ Fernandez, okay. Stolen Throne Cigar. I have not had that Stolen Throne Cigar yet, so that's that's pretty cool name. Stolen Throne. A lot of cigar output. Uh, the, the, the smoke output is pretty good on this one, but you can see, like, I'm already almost one third. <laughs> Almost one third. I had to pick up something after this. 
Blackwood Studio, uh, Lawless, Lawless, okay? It's Honduras, okay. Daughter of Wind by Cass Dugley. Okay, never heard that before. Not smoking anything at the moment, being a fat guy eating, uh, eating Caribbean coffee ice cream. Ramon Busso Genesis, Aver average at best. Uh, that's too bad, that's too bad. Fancy quiz. Smoking a Brazella. Brazella, that's a, that's a strong one, okay. I give William that cigar when I was not gonna meet up with him and Brian. Ah, okay, 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 okay. So, an update for you guys. Today I packed up probably 11 orders for the whiskey glass, okay? So, they are packed up with your beanies. So, if you had a beanie and whiskey glass, they're packed together because one more thing to pack the glass, the better, all right? One more thing to pack the glass, the better. So, they're all packed up. Uh, basically, what I will do is I will do four orders every time when I go out. Four orders. So first time, you, know, you if you pay early, your label will be made early and then you'll go. Just first come, first serve, right? Four, send, four, send, four, send. So every time I get four, I'll send. Every time I get four, I'll send. But at this point, I ran out of an entire box of peanut. All right? Uh, I pack up the, 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 the thing today and literally, so, you know what, what can I do to make it even stronger? So I got paper box and paper shavings inside the paper box and then put a cup in there and then top it off with more paper shaving, cover it up, put it inside a box full of peanuts and pat it with the own beanie. If that breaks, nothing can save it, all right? Nothing can save it. The entire box is peanut. All right, so if that if that breaks, yeah, I, I don't know how else we're gonna send this. I, I pat the entire box with peanut, right? I literally when I tap the box on the side, tap the box on the bottom and top, all you hear is pop 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 pop. All you hear is that you don't even hear the glass. There's nothing unless somebody decides to go, Hulk angry. That think that glass is gonna survive. So that that is what's going on right now, and next week. Or maybe tomorrow when I decide to make the labels, that's when I do it. Yeah, like, just in case I wear a cigar mechanic so I jinx it, right? <laughs> Smoking a $2 Los Dias. Yeah, but I, I packed up, I packed it up so much in there, like, Mrs. Assassin was like, what are you doing? This whole entire box has one glass, the rest is all fillings. And I was like, I don't want anyone to break it. I don't even want that thing to move a little bit. So, the entire thing is filled. Entire thing is filled, plus box. You know, because I used to have those paper box to put other cups that I have. So I just took all that out from the storage today, pack it in there. I literally ran out of paper shaving. You know, when you had shredding machines, they had paper shavings. I used the whole entire bag of those to pack probably 11 packages today. Uh, I used the entire bag of those. A box, uh, probably a box that's the size of a indoor heater have you bought one of those indoor heater before i know how big those boxes were like a gigantic dehumidifier that size box for the peanut i ran out of everything just to pack those that you can tell like how much i use in packing those packages hey cat so hopefully it'll get to you guys soon and safe again when you get the uh, uh, box, make sure you take a picture before you open it because uh, if it's damaged, we gotta file for uh, 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 insurance because all those will go with the insurance. And, and if it's broken, we'll make them pay for it and then we'll make more and then we replenish it. Hey, Dustin, just saw you. All right, today's topic. Double boxing and peanut should be fine. Sell, uh, sell a lot of fragile stuff on eBay. I mean, I, I try my best. That's like as best as I can do for those those ones I just packed up today. 
took uh, hours. <laughs> took hours to, to pack them. Hey, Shane. So, yeah, just want to remind everybody, if you haven't paid already, when you get ready to pay, make sure to do that so that I can mark you off the list. Because right now, I'm packing everything regardless if you pay or not. And I just don't want to unpack it. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to try another voice this coming week. Bring my patience with me so I won't overheat the cigar. That's that, you know, cigar, patience. Yeah, cigar is a good way to train patience. Daniel, Mont Daniel Martin is in today. Okay. Well, quite a bit of people on today. I mean, Wednesday, just like everybody have things to do. Is Wednesday a sports game maybe? I don't know. I, I actually don't know. Uh, today's topic is, uh, this is pretty funny because, uh, I was driving today and my wife talked about board games. Have you guys played play board games like Monopoly, chess, whatever? So she talked about board games. I was like, ah, don't even start because my wife doesn't beat me at board games. She, she, she cannot beat me and she get, always gets angry. So she played Monopoly every time. That what, like literally she will flip the board and just, that's it at the end. They're not, not playing anymore. Kind of, kind of person when it comes to, comes to board games. <laughs> and she read this thing that says, if you can change a rule in the board game, what board game would you change and what rule would you change? Put it down in the comments. Which board game would you change the rule to and what rule would you change if you can change one rule? <laughs> and on that request, I'll look at it right now. And it's approved. <laughs> now, Ted, remember, in this group, we have this thing that if you're new, you make a post, either video or whatever, to introduce yourself so everybody knows who you are. Just so you know you have to do that. <laughs> JJ Sinister 91. What's going on, man? Monopoly has caused a lot of fight. Smoking a diamond, uh, crowd black diamond tonight. Cool. 80. <laughs> What's 80? <laughs> what is 80? Yeah. Monopoly is one of the ones that I'm pretty good at. And then, you know, usually it gets to a point where people will get pissed off at. You know, I find that board game. It's the best way to find out which friend you want to keep. Which when, which friend you want to keep. Which friend you want to keep from that. And you gotta say why. How do you find that? When you play board game, one of them, well, a couple of few of them will get pissed off. Right? Uh, you want to keep the friend that actually got pissed off, flip the table and all that stuff. Why? Cause this guy is super honest. <laughs> this guy is super honest. Cause everybody's pissed. Everybody's pissed, but they're not gonna say anything about it, right? You can only have one winner. So all the other three are somewhat pissed. Got to a point, especially Monopoly. It'll get to a point where you're like, what the hell? You know, when you land it on a spot that has multiple hotels, you're like, you know, you want to kill this person right in front of me. Well, right in front of you. And, and literally that, you know, that's why. So you want to keep the guy that actually flipped the table because he's being really honest with you. He's pissed off. Okay, so update on this cigar. The draw is great. I like this kind of loose draw. It's just loose enough, but it's not like no strength, no stop at all. So the draw is great. Cedar, very refined cedar. Very refined cedar. It tastes great and it doesn't feel like there's a lot of strength. It's probably light plus at most at this point all right and in terms of complexity it feels like there's layers of cedar flavor in there but it's just cedar okay so it doesn't feel like a like a connecticut it doesn't feel like that it's like oh it's all cedar there is like a refinement of different layers of that cedarness to it some of the cedar is sweet some of the cedar is bitter some of the cedar is kind of neutral in here Okay, so it's very easy to smoke. And 
when you go through your nose, you get this caramel cedar. Caramel mix of cedar. It's just really sweet and uh, but not like the sugar sweet. It's like a caramelly cedar going through your retro hill. But it's easy. It doesn't burn your nose whatsoever. It's very refined and it, it can taste that it's aged very nicely. If you hold off a little bit, you probably can get a little bit of leather, like a fresh fresh top leather kind of smell to it. Uh, you know when you buy a brand new bag and you just smell the outside, but not the inside, the outside. And you kind of get that nice leathery feel to it. And that's pretty much it. It's just like a really nice put together, not much craziness cigar. Okay, not much craziness cigar. but. Keep in mind, this thing burns pretty quick. This, this thing really is really quick. It's only we're only what uh, 27 minutes through. I'm almost done. <laughs> all right, I'm almost done. So, all right. Anyways, let's go back to the the comments. Uh, Nate says I'm not really a competitor. Uh, and uh, one rule will be people need to actually follow the rule of the game that comes with and not make up their own. Okay, give an update on the cigar that I already read that. I agree with Marlene, Marlene 3030, read the rule. Uh, worth $40 to me. Leather is one of my favorite smell and flavors. Okay. Beer Pong definitely count as a board game. Well, the thing about Beer Pong is... Uh, was that actually a rule? <laughs> you just toss, goes in, you drink. Is there a, really a rule? Like, there's some people that I should toss on the table and stuff like that, like bounce and all that stuff. I never really get it. I just, you know, people just get it through and 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 drink, right? I personally don't like to play beer pong because I think it's kind of nasty. This ball literally hit the table, the side, the floor, and everything, and you picked it up and just rinse the water and continue. That's just disgusting, especially in the campus where like uh, fraternity halls and stuff like that. That's just nasty, okay? That's just nasty. I can't handle it. I can't handle it. Like, if it's about to hit the cup, I'll catch it, and I go out drink that one. That's totally fine. But, like, just disgusting. Just finished AB, uh, Black Market, it's the lead. Very muted flavor, but I also uh, have a few glasses of uh, gin beans. And, yeah, Coke, okay? Uh, I have a bad cigar, so I haven't had... I, I've had bad cigar. Okay, oh, that I think that's a typo, but um, caramel, right? Caramel, caramel, caramel. Yeah, it just depends how you want to pronounce it. Caramel, caramel, being Ohio and caramel. Come on, tomato, tomato. Um, watch Tim's Nicaragua video today. Anybody else to Nicaragua? It looks amazing. Like I say, Nicaragua is. Kind of dangerous unless you know who who's bringing you, right? Go on a tour and stuff like that. Uh, I'm I fear for the Nicaraguans if we have a group going over there. <laughs> okay, I fear for them. Not fear for us, I fear for them. So I don't know. You pour water to the cup and then pour that. You you tell that to the college students. They will never do that. <laughs> they will never do that. They will never do that. So far, Alan Bradley aren't as great as everybody portrays them as. I don't know. I, again, it's different people's uh, different people's palette. So, I mean, Alan Bradley isn't too expensive. So, you know, it's kind of worth it. Oh yeah, she told me what rule would I change, and I told her why would I change the rule? The the rules are great. That's why you win. You know, if the if you follow the rule, you win. It's not that hard. Pecan or pecan or pecan. Pecan, pecan, pecan. I call it pecan. Cause pecan sounds like the bird. Well, uh, have solo cup with water in them, so the can of beer on hand. Um. 
That's because they're nasty and do stuff like butt chugging. It, the beer they use is blue ribbon. That's even more nasty than the floor. Uh, I think my favorite brand right now is Estebanosa cigars. What's everybody else's? <coughs> Davidoff. D Davidoff. So, yeah, I like the Magic Toes. I still smoke the Magic Toes here and there. So, Magic Toes is great. I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming, Martin. I, I knew that was coming. This thing is so easy to smoke, and it's so easy to smoke it fast, too, because it's so little. It's so little. You get through that forty dollar quick. Is that Skinner? Skinner, I haven't I haven't talked to you for a while. What's going on, man? Haven't made any posts other than your cars. Anybody had Rocky Patel Air Second Edition? Probably not. I don't think so. I like punch. That's what she said. It's such an easy refined cigar to smoke. Like, if a beginner smoke this, they can actually smoke this as a beginner cigar. It's not too long. It's not too strong. Uh, it's very refined. But chances are they're not gonna be able to appreciate it. And and at that price, they buy. Like, uh. <coughs> uh. Yeah. Uh. Over my dead body now. Over my dead body, man. <laughs> so. Mm. Need a drink. Yeah, beer pond. I don't know. I, j I just uh, <clears throat> never really flavor favor that game. I, I really kind of like. There's not really a rule to that. There's not really a rule to that. Not too long, not too strong. We're talking about... Yeah, no. <laughs> hey, Bob. Bob the Cigar Guy is here. Uh, I know Ted, Ted is new. If Ted, if you don't know Bob the Cigar Guy, he also have a channel. Matia Maya also have a channel. So if you... Uh, now you being an SSL member, make sure to support them as well. Just so you know. Just so you know. Prefer Buffalo Trace. There are four chats. Where are the other comments coming from? No, there's five. Five. <clears throat> the other comments are, are from Twitch. So we're, we're on do, uh, multi streaming. So the top half is Twitch, the bottom is YouTube. No, I've never seen that show, no. Uh, um, so Bob has been really busy. You know, Bob Smoker is coming. And I think he's doing the Western Lifetime drawing soon. So you guys, if you guys haven't done any of those, uh, you kind of had a missing out, you know. But I'm pretty sure Bob is going to bring some serious content uh, back from uh, uh, his trip to Bond Smoker. Make sure to take pictures. I know a lot of people are going, so... Is Bob ever not busy? I don't know. It seems like everybody's always busy. There you go. The drawing is tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. If you had the money, you would like to try the $90 Cohiba. Which one? There's like quite a bit of expensive Cohibas. There's quite a bit of uh, Kohiba, but... Oh, that? Really? You're talking about the red dot? So, when you say Kohiba, you kind of want to... Uh, separate them, you know? When you say Kohiba, in the US, you want to call it red dot. 
when you say Cohiba, it, it's really the Cohiba in Cuba. So when you want to say Cohiba in US, it's better I'll call it red dot. If you don't know you're on the drawing, I don't think it's too late yet. Ask Bob. <laughs> he can still toss something in there. This cigar is easy to smoke. It's so easy to finish too. I, I think this, uh, it's like a conspiracy almost. Like you can finish it quick. You can really finish it quick. I want new Cuban Cohiba with all the counterfeit measures. Cohiba Red Dot Spectra 2018 or 2019. I, I mean, the Spectra does have really cool box. I want the box, but I haven't seen it like right in front of me, so. I don't know enough about the fancy, um, schmancy cigar really desire a certain expensive one though. If I win, I gonna play the lottery the next day. <laughs> you know, statistically, you don't win two lottery in a row, right? If you win a drawing, statistically, you don't win another one. Unless you're cigar mechanic, you win seven in a row. But statistically, you don't. Gurkha has a $1,200 cigar, but really, you're paying for their box. Gurkha cigars are like dollar, all right? That's how much a Gurkha cigar should worth, a dollar. And all the other costs go to their very elaborate, limited edition, wooden, solid wood box that they come with. That's what you're really paying for. So if you only buy one, you're kind of missing out, right? Gurkha is a key of marketing. Uh, well, yeah, if you want to say that, I mean, they, they just pay a lot of money in uh, um, commercials and magazines and ads and stuff like that. What's really weird is because Gurkha is allowing all the other manufacturers to make their cigar, every manufacturer put out an, an advertisement. Then let's say if you have 12 manufacturers that makes your cigar, 12 manufacturers is going to make 12 different ads for Gurkha. And all of a sudden, you're 12 times more ad than any other brand. No cigar is worth more than a hundred. No cigar is really worth more than, you know, it's, it should be holder. I mean, I don't think any art should be more, worth more than a hundred dollars either. <laughs> so. Uh, I've had mediocre cigar talking about to uh, awesome people make it awesome. And free knife to end it all. <laughs> free knife to end. Free everything to me. And they're like, hey, I throw this in there. You get a limited edition, this knife and this that. They get Asian all the time though. Asian love freebies. So if you put any freebie in there, it makes like them like, oh, I want that. I want that. And they go out and try to buy, you know, gift sets. You know, they don't want they don't want to just have a cigar as a gift. They want like cigar with something. So when they see Gurkha gift kit, they're like, that's the one I'm going to buy. And then when you give it to somebody that actually smokes a cigar, they're like, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. No cigar should be worth more than $30 in finish. See that the numbers start to skew as you go. I mean, if you smoke Davidoff all the time, like every cigar is like $30, so. <laughs> Today's a good day. I hope everybody enjoyed the day. I, I actually went out today and I, you know, obviously I went to Burlington. I went to the dealer looking at cars, and um, I went to the post office. Like, you know, the day was pretty good, so I actually went out to the post office and gave more boxes. That's why, you know, I have the, those all packed up today. I went to buy packing materials today. So it's a pretty good day. I hope everybody had a good day. I, I heard there's like more hurric uh, hurricane coming, so, you know, I hope everybody's okay. Yeah. Quality of tobacco worth more. Good car has no quality tobacco. That's correct. They're making it so fast, I don't even know what they have. It's a great smoking weather today. 
even my wife was like, maybe you should smoke outside today. You know, it's actually really nice. I was like, well, there's no light. <laughs> the weather is cooling off here. It's been a great day. You know, my problem is acorns are dropping like mofos. The acorns are dropping down like crazy mofos. Like I will stand outside for five minutes and I'll get hit by an acorn. It's dropping down like cats and dogs. That's the problem. I need to chop off all the... Yeah. What is the lowest price per Davidoff cigar? It's $3.50. That's the lowest price Davidoff cigar. $3.50. Most prestigious cigars I have smoked is Placencia for Davidoff Genova. That was given to me. Uh, who gave you that to you? We had a good buy on that one. That was really good. That was really good. In fact, I think I smoked it yesterday. Kirk <laughs> uh, has blending room that you get enough money, you can have your cigar diamond crusted. Yeah, smoke diamond. I'm pretty sure that works. I made five hours of OT at work this morning, so all uh, profitable and good. That's good, that's good. What do I spend on my average cigar? Okay, uh, my average cigar costs $39. Stab it off, they usually cost me between $30 and $39, so that's what I usually have. Uh, no trees, okay, no trees around your cars. Padron cigar are the king. Yeah, that depends. I'm actually one of the odd one that did not like Padrons. My local shop got David off recently, and we're about spending twenty to thirty dollars for a cigar that might not like being laid off. My budgets are shot. Uh, well, you sir are getting it in, son. That's good. I mean, yeah, I, Jason Martin did a while ago. Oh, okay. Okay, that's good. Uh, that's good. So, yeah. Uh, not true, Tony. You be smoking them short Davidoff. What are you talking about? Did I try the natural or the Maduro Padron? Both. <laughs> I know I'm gonna spend some money when Tony get out here since Brendan is having an event that one night. Yeah, AJ Fernandez. No, $3.50. Davidoff. See the logo right there? This is a Davidoff cigar. And it's the Dimitasi, and it's not even considered as a cigarello. <laughs> They consider that, they put that under classification of cigar. They don't put it under cigarellos. So yeah, they are small Davidoff. They're still Davidoff. In fact, they have this in a cap version. So you have to cut it. And it's literally the size of this. It's just a little bit bigger. That cost $12 each. It's so funny. This one, $3. The same one, almost a little bit bigger with a cab, $12 each. Well, that is the cheapest Davidoff. <laughs> if my average cost is $3.50, I would love it. I can't even buy this in the singles. This. They are not allowed to sell it in New York because it's too cheap. So I had to buy them in a box of 50 all the time. Either I had to buy a box of 50s or I had to buy a box of 100s. So that's the only way I can buy these because uh, they in New York, they, they are too cheap and they won't allow them to sell it. So literally every time I buy this, it's a box of 50. Oh, I'm about to burn this van. Construction on this cigar obviously is good. You know, if I don't remove the band, it will stand. What do I think of liquid death water? This thing is expensive to death. <laughs> if that's what you're asking, expensive to death. The Cigarella for twelve or other brand Toro cigar for no, 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 no. Yeah, well, 
it, it, obviously twelve dollar for that doesn't doesn't work. It's not worth it. But it's a Davidoff this size, a little bit bigger. It's slightly like a tad bigger, right? Like the only difference is literally it has a cap on it, and that would be twelve dollar. This is the different one. I think it's the blend that makes a difference, but twelve dollar for that. Uh, Rocky Patel is next on my list. I wanted to try it since I'm watching factory tours on YouTube. Okay. Uh, Rocky Patel 1990. That's the way to go. <laughs> Between my mixed budget sticks and premium, I say average four to five dollars smoke if you take them all into account. Yeah. I'm one of the extreme ones, so. I mean, when you buy a lot of Cuban before, like, you know, if you go to a country that tax Cuban cigar like crazy, uh, smoking a $30 Davidoff just became average price. If that makes any sense, right? If you go to Japan, you buy cigars over there, $30, $40 each. You come here, uh, Davidoff, $20 to $30 to $40 each. You start just go, and that's, that's a bargain. You know? So that's how you kind of tell the difference. So... In, in, in my point of view, this is why it's so easy for me to buy boxes because it feels like a bargain to me when I buy them. Thank you. It is a nice shirt. <laughs> it's kind of cool because it shines a little bit here and there. Yeah, if you tend to smoke Davidoff, you start to see your range kind of shoot up a little bit because all the cigar costs, like literally all the bundles they sell are like 30, 35, 30, 40, 40, you know, so. Can't wait for September 2021. It's got to be crazy. I still, and I need to get a, like a good count of how many people it's got to go because we need quite a bit of people to get the rooftop. If we don't, we have to go indoor, so. Smoking in Japan is horrible with the high prices. Well, technically, in Japan, if you don't have the money, you wouldn't go smoke a cigar. I mean, not everybody will go out and smoke a cigar. It's something that only the rich people does it. Like, if you don't have some stable income, you wouldn't. Because living in Japan is so expensive. Martin, can you take care of JJ? So, you know, in Japan, living expenses are really high. Rents are very, very high, okay? Rents are very, very high. And you're working long hours. So, and then, you know, because you work long hours, usually either your wife, if you do have one, make your lunch or you have to eat out all the time because rents are so expensive, a lot of time you rent a place that don't even have a kitchen. So you eat out and all your expenses go from there and all that stuff, uh, transit and all that stuff that it's unaffordable for average people to go smoke cigar. So you won't see normal people go smoke cigar. They will smoke cigarettes. Uh, and, and, you know, in that case, they were okay with that price. There was no outcry for saying that cigar was too expensive, right? So being, being no one complained about it and the rich people actually like it expensive, they actually like to keep that thing expensive. That's why as a foreigner, when you go over there, uh, you realize how expensive that is. Uh, and, and, and I mean, you get a little bit benefit because you probably go over there as a foreigner and if a uh, certain amount of money, if you buy more than $50, you get tax free. If you're locals, you have to pay tax. So what is the average work day in Japan? It is phone. It's usually 12 to 16 hours. Depends where you work. 12 to 16 hours the average work day. Fourteen hour, <laughs> right in between, twelve to sixteen hours average work day. And the big problem is that you after you get off work, you don't really get off work. You get off work, you start to deal with your, uh, you know, coworkers, and that's technically like chore or work, however you want to call it. So you know, you don't really get home until late night. No, no salary man don't get home until like 10, 11 p.m. At, you know, usually by eleven something, cause last trains at eleven. So, by 11 something, you get home. That's pretty much it. Alright, Bob. Make sure you uh, show those uh, cool content so we can take a look at it. 
Have a good night, man. Yeah, I mean, if you're superstitious, I mean, a lot of time, you'd be surprised why people don't live in there, okay? Not only... Not only that it's it's I, actually if you're this is superstitious You wouldn't want to be in there Number two is the neighbor around you will talk about you like right? they love to gossip All right, they love to gossip So if you live in the house that somebody died in there before they gossip about you to see if you know like they, that, that guy must be like crazy and abnormal He's living in the house that somebody died in there and then when you come out They cannot wait to tell you hey, do you know you live in the house that somebody died in there? so you know, you'd be surprised. Mo uh, majority of people actually prefer to live in the uh, computer cafe than getting an apartment that has uh, that has it's been stigmatized. Uh, well, how UPS is right behind the Japanese workday. Well, UPS pays you for it. <laughs> In Japan, you get paid a regular salary. There's no OT. What the hell is OT? There's no OT. In Japan, <clears throat> you're project based. You're you're responsible based. You're responsible for this project. I don't care how much time you spend. You gotta finish it. That's what they are. Over here, your your time is up. You want me to stay? Pay me more, right? Over there, this is what you need to do. If you don't finish on time, you're fired. So you'll spend as much time as you need it. Alright, last a little bit. It's getting mm, uh, uh, more stronger. The flavor gets stronger. But the strain doesn't. The strain doesn't really get stronger. It's actually just very enjoyable cigar. And the more you smoke, the stronger it gets in flavor. And the more intense it gets. Great cigar. Great cigar. Would I buy it again at 40? Yeah, I will. Of course I will. When I buy a 90, uh, it depends on my mood. You know, if if my mood are great, then I would. But you know, it really depends on that day. It's like, hey, you know, I bought. My goal was to spend a thousand, but I only spend eight hundred. I put a couple of these just so that it makes a thousand. A lot of time I do that, but uh, in normal cases, forty dollar you can buy other great cigars. You can probably buy a five pack, six pack. 10 packs of guys depends on what you buy, so. Could you spend $40 for a special event cigars? Yeah, you could. You you know, you, you probably would, would like to do that if it's on 40 bucks. True, I've turned down salary management position for that reason. Uh, yep, I was at 11 a.m. Uh, six years ago. Ooh. Have I tried principles? Like what principles? What principles are we talking about? Like a cigar? Let's see. <laughs> okay, so I just went online to see what that is. I did not try the principal cigar. Prince Principe? Prince Prince no, probably not. Uh, most budget stick I haven't tried because for me, presentation is number one. A lot of budget stick are either naked or don't have a really good presentation. And that's why I don't I don't try them because f no, if you want to put up a really cheap cigar, sure. But at least make it attractive enough that makes me want to have it. You know, if you just want to make it like a roughly rolled cigar and really be cheap about it, that make, doesn't make me want it yet, you know. Why is Davidoff cutting the Griffin line? Because they are shit. <laughs> Griffins embarrass Davidoff. I can tell you that. I, I do not like Griffins uh, from Davidoff. Griffin, that, Griffin's like the ones that I bought and then, you know, how about I give it away? Because they're not that good. They, they don't live up to Davidoff name. Holy crap. <laughs> uh, 
well, in turn, I, one, for Cigar, it's not bad, but they don't live up to Davidoff's name, in compared to Davidoff. Alright, they don't, they don't live up to that name. <laughs> Do you plan to getting some new budget Ziga Libras, uh, uh, Liga Zebras, but Ziga Libra. They have been released yet. They have been released, yes, and they are on discount, by the way. They are on sale. They are on sale right now. You may have misread Moderator, look for. Uh, all right, fine. Yeah. All right. New members, make sure to read the rules. If you break the rule, I kick you like that. Damn. Um, never had one, so you're curious. Uh, I have to see if I have more. Uh, if I do, I'll bring it with me. You don't like Davidoff anywhere too boring for you? Mm, it's not boring to me, so I, I don't know. Uh, I think it's actually more... Their, their cigars are very constant and, and, and expectable. I think that's kind of a good idea, because I don't like that as much. The box price rebellion. You don't think you ever had a Davidoff? <laughs> Go try one. Go try one. Uh, not the bandit one. The one with no band that's on sale so he can clear them up. I think that's over. He's releasing the uh, bandit ones now. The bandit ones are out there now. Limited 2019 was not boring to me. Great full of flavor. It's too smooth. Well, you can try other Davidoff like late hours, but yeah, late hours. Those are, you know, quite aggressive, quite aggressive. So it depends. I mean, obviously a brand cannot just have one kind of cigar. They have quite a different cigar. And if you want something to go crazy, there's always uh, something like, the Cigar Dojo with Davidoff blend that's actually peppery as hell, that thing bites, all right? Uh, there's also the Chef Edition, which is kind of interesting and that's kind of rough too. I like the Davidoff I used to Yeah, Davidoffs are good, Davidoffs are good. Padrones are overrated for most of the time. I agree with that statement. Hashimoto Sport knows what I'm talking about. They are so inconsistent, you can have the same blend of cigar in a tray in the same box, and you gotta find one or two that's totally different color than the rest. A lot of time, if you put a Maduro right next to a regular natural, they look the same color sometimes. So, you know, this is why I, you know, it's like, hey, come on, they're, they're overrated if they can't even do uh, 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 quality control. If they can't even do quality control. Try the 3x3 three three in a tube. Davida, which one? They always had punch them too. Yeah, they always had some punch in there. That's what I'm saying. And if you want something that's stronger, go with those. Or you can always go with Camacho, Triple Maduros. It's got enough bites to it. So it really depends what you're smoking. Obviously, uh, that's like saying I don't like Oliva because when I smoke Oliva G, there's no taste to it, you know? <laughs> I like me a Padron. Different stroke, different folks. Yeah, I mean, that's just the way it is. The Journey is a Davidoff, right? Yes, it is. Journey is a Davidoff. Blend. Alright, Journey is a Davidoff blend made by AJ Fernandez. Oh no, never mind. No, I got it wrong. Uh, Journey is a Davidoff made by my father's. <laughs> okay, so it's it's still my father's cigar. It's Davidoff blend. I put a triple Maduro in a box train. Yeah, try the triple Maduro. It it it, it will bite. It will bite. So yeah, it depends on the cigar. It depends on the person who's smoking the cigar. For people that like like full body cigar all the time, I mean, some a lot of cigar out there is gonna be so smooth and blend. Okay, this is just not gonna go along with it. So, uh, 
Chupa Maduro is an ass kicker. Yeah. And, and so is any of those... Uh, the Hot Rod series. Those ones bites. <laughs> so... So yeah, I mean, you now is cigar really worth the price? A lot of times, if you ask yourself, um, many times, like I say, the price that you're paying is not just on the cigar. You're paying for the box. Everything has a reason to a price, and when you buy, so you know, you're paying one per $90, right? Why? Because the packaging costs money, right? Velvet and bottom, blue painted box, sliders, and little emblem on top. The box itself outside is like piano, mirror, glass. Inside has a glass mirror in there. So, you know, all that stuff costs into, a factor into the price that you buy per cigar. This is why a lot of time when you buy one cigar, it's kind of expensive as hell because you don't know what you're paying for. You're paying for that box of packaging. You're paying for the entire packaging, divided by the amount of cigars that's in there. That's why it doesn't make sense to pay that much per cigar a lot of time. You say it's not worth it, but you're actually paying for the package. You just don't get it. You just don't get that box. You know, once you get that box, yeah, it makes sense. But when you don't get the box, yeah, it did, did not make sense, right? It did not make sense. Uh, do, 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 do. I have some Zenos, but I have yet to smoke one yet. I have smoked them in the shop, just not mine. Yeah, I have to just pick up random cigars and smoke, but let me finish this one first. I'll just grab one from that box. That's nearest to me. <laughs> nearest me. You know what? Ugh. How about Don Jose in Nicaragua? El Centrion, El Centrion, my father's. H. Upman. We'll choose one of these later. Voice the guys upstairs. I had to run upstairs. Now I'm not running upstairs to grab cigars. Voice the guys upstairs. I had to run all the way upstairs to grab it. You, you guys will have to wait for me to run upstairs. I don't mind to smoke it. I would love to smoke it. I just had to run upstairs. Filthy Viking is a good cigar. I mean, I'm surprised Rocky Patel made it because it was it tastes nothing like a Rocky Patel. It's just pretty good cigar. It's pretty satisfying cigar. Well, I just didn't like the way they made it so long. So, Sherry, just so you know, I think we have now that we we kind of restock and everything. We have enough voyage to last until. Probably beginning of next year, just so you know. Quite a bit left over. I like my filthy Viking with coffee. It's really good with coffee. It's a good pairing. Like I say, it's a surprising blend that you know it was done right. It was done right. It was definitely done right. Hashimoto, come on. Gotta have some, man. Gotta have some. At, at least have one for the spirit of the group, man. At least have one for the spirit of the group. I don't have any yet. I mean, you don't have any yet. Original Filthy Viking is a Toro, right? Yeah, they call it Toro. But really, I think it's a Churchill. Because it's not that thick. Robusto I see the yeah yeah I mean, they they are good size. The Robusto uh for Filthy Viking is pretty good size. 
it's a Churchill, but they call it Toro when, when they first started. They call it Toro. Need to get a voice cigar. I saw. It. Yeah. Need to order a voice cigar. We have a member named Nolo. You just had to contact him, and he 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 deals with the distribution of that cigar. There is plenty left. I think there's more than three hundred left. Just be aware though. This is what you gotta be aware of, of, okay? Nolo had to get you the cigar and he had to bend it as you order them. So, you know, when you order them, you gotta give him some time. He had to bend it and then send it to you. Just so you know. Because he's bending 50 at a time. We're selling by, uh, they're selling by singles. Journeys, no, no more journeys left. Well, at least I don't have any. <laughs> I don't have any more journeys left for 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 sale. No, I I hoard some myself. That was pretty much it. It seems like Churchill to me too, um, Sherry. It seems like Churchill to me too, but they call it Tor. They call it Tor. The Ivan Dito was one reason why I choose him to do the voyage because Ivan Tito was on point. I smoked that Ivan Tito first and then uh, then he have this thing called Angel's Bliss. I smoked that and I was like, that's really good. Let's get a blend to, to for, for voyage and that's why. Um, we're working on the next cigar though, but that might even take longer than that. Toro Grande. <laughs> but that's the thing, that cigar is not even a Toro. It's not thick enough to call it Toro. But he called it Toro. So I don't know. It's up to, you know, you can name whatever. You know, in fact, I, I'll go find some crazy size and I can call it Tony Maximus. <laughs> you know? It's just like what you choose to, to name it, really. It's just an idea how big it is. The thing is that I don't think he have any more uh, Angel Splits to sell. I don't even think he sells Angel Splits. So I, I don't know. I don't know. How many different size cigars are there? Unlimited amount of combination that you want to talk about. I mean, you can get a whole entire poster of sizes. And even that, somebody will change one thing. They'll be like, you know, you know, you can have five by sixty. You can have five point two five by sixty if you wanted to, and the name is something else. So technically, there's unlimited amount of different sizes. Just you know, as many as you want to change it. Hey Masalo, what is going on? Be nice, behave. Listen to your dad. Not not that your dad behaves, but listen to your dad. So yeah, I mean the size is it's really what, what you know what you depend on. I think you should try that Monte Cristo 50 or TAA exclusive I got you. I think I already tried that, man. I think I already tried that. It's not here. You know what? Give me one second. Let me go see if I can find other cigars to smoke. Because it seems like you guys want me to smoke other cigars. So, funny thing is that the cigar legal in the US can be called whatever company wants to, no matter what the size is. Only Cuban cigar has to legally call by the size. But they are. But they call it by numbers. Number one, number two, number three. So, I'll be right back. I really honestly think that I already smoked that TAA. So, uh, cause I want to look at where I put the other cigars uh, from people who mailed it to me. So I found this, so I'm gonna smoke this. Ave Maria, Ave Maria. I'm gonna smoke my Ave Maria. 
Ave Maria. Ave Maria. I don't know what this is called. Other than it's Ave Maria. Just. So let's smoke that. Ave Maria brain is kind of cool. It reminds me of like the the uh, the knights of the round table kind of thing. You know, the, the royal knights, like the paladins. You know, it kind of reminds me of this, so. The woody looks like a torture. Yeah, it is a torture. No bin at the bottom of original. Original Ave Maria. There's no Ben on the bottom, so I guess it is the original. But I need to hoard this a little bit. I need to hoard this a little bit. This one doesn't have a name on it, so I can't tell. I'm really not an expert of Ave Maria. Uh, not a cigar that I bought, even though you know, Cigars Daily has carried it for a while. I just never got to buy them. You know why? Because Davidov got the way. Davidov got into the way. C3? I, I just can't do this. I mean, I want to tell, tell you guys, okay? I don't care what people tell you. Sm smelling your cigar is perfectly normal. Alright? Smelling the cigar... It's perfectly normal. In fact, when I buy fruits, I smell the skin of the fruits. Like today, I was in the market smelling an entire table of mangoes. I pick up one, I just pick up one by one, just smell the mangoes. And literally, I bought none of them. <laughs> okay? This, smelling like this is totally fine. I just can't do what uh, uh, Martin Amaya do. He smoke. he smells the, the foot. I'm afraid the bits is gonna fly into my nose, so I never sniff the foot. But I will smell this and I'll take a dry draw. But smell if anybody say, hey, you're crazy smelling the foot, that guy is crazy. Still very citrus, still very flavorful, even a lost a little bit, so. The fat robusto is arc of the common covenant. But don't quote me on that. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, like when you do that, the tobacco bits is gonna fly in. That's why I'm afraid of. So that's why I don't do it. I don't. I don't do that. But some people do it, and they think they can get the different smell than just taking a draw. So you know, to each his own. I mean, if you had to, there's nothing to trash talk about for that. I, I actually, you know, respect those people. You know, there's some people that sniff uh, whiskey differently. So. Smelling the foot of a cigar is okay. Smelling someone's foot is a no-no. That depends. That depends. For example, quite many times my wife walks around and is like, Does my foot smell? Hey, is that the smell of my foot? I'm like, I'll go smell it. And they're like, no, that's not your foot. That's probably the dog. <laughs> this is kind of tight packed. I don't know. We'll find out. I oh, actually loose draw. What? It's very loose draw. All right, let's do this. Goodbye. Cigar number two. You know, why Billy might still be on, so I kind of have to toast my cigar, because if I don't, he yells at me. Is it possible to light a cigar with another lit cigar? No, I've tried before. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. You can only do that on cigarettes. I do that on cigarettes all the time. I just never work. It never works on cigars. It just never works on cigars. Well, take a picture and post it, I guess. I 
actually smells really good. You get the cedar, you get a floral, floral note to it. You get um, a sweetness to it, very slight hands of pepper, very slight hands of pepper. Um, very loose draw, and you get the sweetness to it. A little bit creaminess too. Still trying to get that low. There we go. I see it. I see it. Hey, <laughs> Masala, you look just like your dad. Your your face is like uh, <laughs> looks just like your dad. I can split screen on my S9. Free cigar to the person who make Tony ASMR video. Do you, do you want me to help you on that? Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> Does that help? <laughs> Does that help? Mmm. Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Gotta make uh, Wild Billy happy, you know? Gotta make sure he's happy. Gotta toast my cigar all the way and then light it. You know, usually when you have limited amount of time, you really don't have the time to, you know, if you have a one hour show, you don't want to take five minutes just to light your cigar. You'll never finish it. You'll never finish it. You'll never finish the cigar if you take your time to toast it, light it, and all that stuff. Halfway through the show, you're like, oh yeah, I just started smoking. <laughs> no. That's why you see a lot of like, reviewers don't take the time to toast it and just light it. They just light it. They just light it. Because really, that taste that you didn't like is only like the, what, first two puff, and it goes away. So, like, you know, it's not really, you just don't want to take your first puff as consideration and everything else you can take in consideration as the flavor and the notes of the cigar. You just don't want it to take too much time, and then really by the time you start smoking, the show is over. So, very sweet cedary. Hey, Travis. Very sweet, almost like popcorn. A little bit of saltiness too. This is a little bit of saltiness to it. That's why I think it tastes like popcorn, because this is a little bit of sweetness. A little bit of butteriness, a little bit of saltiness to it, and and it goes with the cedar. It's actually not a bad blend. Um, I don't know. It's not bad. Even though this thing feels solid, this thing is tough. You hate salt? A little bit of saltiness. I actually think sometimes enhance the flavor. So. He just torches it and jumps in, yeah. I mean, if you if you smoke a lot of cigar every single day, like him, you wouldn't care that first two puff. Because you're, you're going to take that 1,000 puff of the day. And then, uh, you know, you already your tongue is already numb to that taste. Your, your tongue is numb. Yep, there's definitely a little bit of saltiness to it. There's a tad of earthiness to it. But primarily that salty buttery taste. Saka blends cigars for his taste. With the exception of that brulee. I don't think he smokes his brulee. I really don't think he smokes that. I mean, I, I, imagine Saka sm smoke a Connecticut cigar. He just, yeah, he wouldn't. I mean, despite of how like Steve Saka is saying that he didn't really care for the the unicorn cigar, he's like, you know, people must be crazy to uh to 
to buy the unicorn cigar and stuff like that. You know, he... he I think that, you know, he would just... He would he would just smoke the most expensive one he got and not smoke anything that's lighter. To be really honest with you, like you know he he uh no he say brulee is one that he would smoke. There's a big difference. Brulee is the one I smoke first, as brulee is the one that I would smoke. Very big difference, right? And, you know I I would be like. Honda is one that I would drive, but and then end up driving Mercedes. You know what I'm saying? Like you would doesn't mean you will. So I really think, to be really honest with you, despite of how good Boulet it is, I still think that it's a sellout. It's a sellout. Unless his events, he's trying to promote Boulet, he would not smoke the Boulet. Yeah, he he looked like he looked like someone that would smoke the strongest cigar that he's got. He wouldn't he wouldn't smoke. I think that if he he's saying that like he blending for him, he will he was he's really blending the, as strong as he can get, right? If he's gonna do it, he probably let herald the whole thing and then just smoke that thing because he looked like someone that smokes so much, he's gonna handle only likes full body cigars. So something like Boule that's like medium, maybe like a light plus or medium. He wouldn't want to smoke it. He probably like that thing is like less than a breakfast. You know what I'm saying? Because all his cigars are somewhat strong. It's either medium, medium plus, or full. And you know, for that to be in, it's like you know, near cigar that tastes like movie popcorn when we watch movies or watch movie live stream. Um. Oh, this is one of them that really does taste like popcorn. Well, it, it, not really, not like popcorn, but reminiscing of popcorn because it's got the buttery and saltiness to it. Now, if you smoke an egg roll, if you smoke an egg roll, please, 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 make sure you don't put it in the fryer first. If you put it in the fryer first, it's gonna come out soggy and wet. All right. You do not need to fry your egg roll smoke. All right, you do not have to fry your egg roll cigar. They are different than the egg roll food. The egg roll food, you kind of have to fry it. But if you put an egg roll cigar to down fry it, it's gonna come out to be a soggy, wet, over humidified egg roll cigar. Don't don't have to fry that thing. Just so you know, I, I think there are some people that has problem with really wet egg rolls. You don't have to cook it first. Just smoke it. <laughs> Smoke a filthy Viking. Filthy Viking doesn't give me the popcorn note. Filthy Viking gives me the coffee note. There is quite a bit of coffee note in there, creamy, almost like a, a, a little hazelnut flavor to it too. So I like the egg roll. Too bad they they didn't make the egg roll a, a full production because that would be a regular good production. Now, JJ, I will not question that statement. If he says my personal cigar is 100% La Hero Puro, I'll be like, yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> he wanted to double fry an egg roll stick. Yeah, see, that's what happens. If you don't, if you double fry, you're gonna get a super roll. Super, super, yeah. Have you had that? Nas, it's 100% La Hero. I wouldn't smoke 100% La Hero. I still have half box of the Davidoff Wagner cigar that's like 100% La Hero I'm afraid to smoke that because that thing is this long this long 100% La Hero I'm gonna you now halfway through you'll see me turn green with rainbow puke coming out that's that's what I imagine that cigar is gonna do to me La Hero out and in that thing is just all La Hero in Texas we fry everything there are restaurants that does that though. They literally fry anything. If you bring bring it, we fry it. I've seen those on a food channel before. It's, they literally say, if you bring it, we fry it. <laughs> yeah, I, Filthy Viking does give me coffee and, and a little bit creamy and buttery, but I never re I think of popcorn when I smoke that.
that was like a memory and a half seriously because ri- usually when i feel sick i stop right away I, I that one was just caught me off guard that caught me off guard that hit me like all of a sudden The hero doesn't like to burn. I think it might, you know, it, it, it is all the hero. It, it says outside rapper the hero, inside the hero, binder the hero. So it's, it's a serious cigar. Cuba Libre. I can't remember if I had it. I can't remember if I had it. Roadkill Cafe brings that the squash trash panda and we'll fry it. <laughs> trash panda. Trash panda, uh, like a raccoon, you call the trash panda. You know, one thing I, ha- I haven't eaten that I really want to try one day, even if it's just a trick, I want to eat red panda. <laughs> I think red panda shouldn't be called panda. You know, they deserve to be eaten once, just for the, for the hack of using red panda. Cool. My team just want to see me get kicked in the ass by a cigar again. <laughs> yeah, raccoons, right? Raccoon. We have a, I know a chef. Uh, we call it. They call him in Chinese translation would be lim, limping Chang because his last name is Chang and he's limping. He originally didn't limp, but one day he decided to eat a a, a raccoon from the trash. He literally saw a raccoon digging the trash and captured it and ate it. And this happened in America, okay? He captured it, skinned it, ate it, ate it for dinner. And uh, two months later, his leg was bad. He had to amputate it and then uh, he ended up limping. Because <laughs> he, he's missing a leg now. Because <laughs> he ate that panda. I, I knew it. We told him not to eat that panda. Or well, raccoon. We tell him not to eat that raccoon, and then he he ate it, and then he limps. <coughs> Gurkha, <coughs> Gurkha, oh my god, that name! Seriously, whoever came up with that name? So yeah, I, I mean, yeah. Uh, I've eaten possum before. I eat rats before too, and mice. If you want a strong cigar, Drew Estate Egg Maduro is the only cigar that made me oozy. Well, Drew Estate Egg Cigar almost burned my face. If you guys remember how I smoked it, yeah, it almost burned my face. Coon isn't bad, it's just greasy. The coon doesn't taste good, period. I mean... A <clears throat> uh, meat's quality really depends on the diet, and something that eats trash all the time you can't possibly taste good. Squirrel, snake, crocodile, lamb. I have all those. Uh, yeah, raccoon is one I refuse to eat. If you have like a home raised raccoon that I know is clean, then I'll eat it. But you know, Amadello, Amadello put in the soup. Almodella putting alcohol, oh my god. You need a wall with a hole on it because if you had a wife, they might kick you out for stay on too long. Martin, did you just say duck? Get out of here. Get out of here. Did you just say duck? Paraplus is the only animal produced milk and egg. It's leaving omelette. That's interesting, I guess. <laughs> if Martin Amaya never had duck before, he needs to get out. He needs to get out. Go try a duck before you come back. That's... Sh- what? Alright, Nate. Talk to you later. So I went on the highway 75. Should have picked it up. <laughs> I have to use a guy now that will turn your head around like exorcist. I remember just a couple days ago, my wife was looking at uh, 
um, a YouTube video of someone feeding a bat. And then like, I don't know if the guy or the woman was like, oh, look at that bat looking at me, it's so sweet or whatever. I, I was like, whoever came out with that statement is crazy. My wife's like, no, look at the eyes, she's looking at the... Bats are blind in the daytime. Bats are blind. The bat cannot see you. Okay? Bats are blind. They can't see you. Whoever came out with that statement on YouTube, seriously? It was only 54 degrees in Utah today. I was talking about the state. I was looking at a video called What is each state famous for? So, you know, I was thinking, you know, maybe I should visit Ohio one day or stuff like that. So I started looking out through state by state to see what they're best for. Ohio, you know what Ohio is famous for? Number one in the whole entire USA. Ohio, what do you think it's famous for? Put it down in the comments. What do you think Ohio is famous for? <laughs> Pigeon thought was a duff. What do you think Ohio is famous for? <laughs> Shitty for... <laughs> Shitty for party. In the countdown of most famous things in Ohio, the number one thing is Ohio had the most book and libraries of all 50 states. Ohio had the most book and libraries of all 50 states. That's what they're famous for. And then what interestingly uh, that I found was like uh, something like North Dakota was most dog friendly. <laughs> But, what? You know, like, okay, so why am I going to do Ohio? Going to the, to the library? Go to Ohio and visit the libraries, I guess? It's, it's not, that's not something that you should be proud of being most famous for. This, that just means that there's nothing to do. <laughs> Ohio is most famous for the most, amount of books and libraries. And New York was most famous for uh, uh, amount of people in a state in a city packed for this size and produced the most presidents and vice presidents. New York is most famous for produced the most president and vice presidents. I would think they would be most famous for, for the crime rate, but or the amount of police they have. Texas is most famous for uh Let me think, what did they say that was most famous for? I can't remember what tax it was. Uh, it's, it's something about... I can't remember what it is. But I know Phil, uh, no, uh, uh, Phoenix, they say Arizona. Arizona is known to be the hottest state of the entire USA. Where, where they have uh, more than 115 days in a year are, uh, are sunny or something like that. I think Texas was known to be uh, the most barbecue eaten or something like that. Or some, or some. But Louisiana, I like that. So Most private owned land in Texas, very little public. The biggest land was actually California. They said California is so big, it can be separated as an individual country and you'll be the fifth uh, economic power in the world. If they were to be separated. So that's what California was famous for. California is famous for its size and its economic uh, power. It's the fifth in the world if it was separated as its, its own country. Utah, I don't remember. I didn't look. I didn't look. I just kind of skipped through uh, state by state. I know Florida is known to have the biggest theme park in the world. Which is Disney World. <laughs> and banning things. California has their own sets of laws. They're more strict than everything.
And I know, I know Nevada are not even famous for their their their, their casinos. Uh, there was something else that was famous for, but I don't even think they're. Uh, I think it was for their divorce rate or something like that. They had the highest divorce rate. Uh, everything gave you cancer in, in, in California, not going there. No, no, they give you chance of cancer. Are known to cause cancer. These materials are known to cause cancer. You know, you can drink water every single day and still cause you cancer. So yeah, each state have the craziest thing. Massachusetts is known to be most, most educated. More than 40% of people has a master's degree or higher. They should say Massachusetts have the highest tax of all places. We call tax Massachusetts for a reason. California says West Watch caused cancer. California caused cancer, okay? Tax is life music. I can't really relate that. Alamos Second largest state Okay, so like number one will be California But hot weather in Texas hot, It's not the top though Arizona has the top on that one Hottest state With more average days That's sunny with the highest temperature Of all 50 states Number one is Alaska, isn't it? I don't know. Because they say, I, I remember uh, watching California being the, num uh, the, the largest state with its economy. I think you had to cal calculate as habitable land. Habitable land. Yeah, if you people think that we had the hottest weather because we had the largest state, but Arizona has the hottest weather. Texas. I want to go to Texas and eat a big ass steak. So, you know, when I go over there to visit uh, Matia Maya, he's going to buy me a steak. He's going to buy me a nice grilled tomahawk. Right? One fifteen is high, uh, our highest record temperature. That's really hot. I can't remember which state has the coldest temperature. One of the one of the state has the has the coldest temperature at time negative sixty degrees Fahrenheit. That's really really cold. That's a really really cold temperature. I think that's Delaware or something. Uh, I should know. I think Delaware is the one with the most highest living standard. No Texas is great, but it's not that hot. It's not that hot. South Texas sucks. Okay. How do you go out at 130 degrees? Even car will break down at that temperature. 60 ounce medium rare. Sold. I have yet to find a steakhouse in Texas that live up to the name. Kansas has some bomb barbecue. No, but I want steak, not barbecue. I want a steak, grilled. 72 ounce steak challenge, that's nothing. I'll chow that down in no time. You think because it's 70 ounce? I have eaten a... Uh, Was that 24 ounce steak? And I was still hungry after that. And I eat dessert and coffee after that. So, 126 record when I was a kid living here, I remember vividly. And you didn't get cooked? You can leave an egg outside, 126 degree will cook it. Oklahoma has a great steak. South Texas feel hotter because of humidity. Yeah, if you use more humid, you will feel hotter. It will, it will, it will. So, one third of the way through, 
the saltiness kind of dies down a little bit. There is still a little bit of floral note. Cedar is in the up front. There's a little bit tingly sensation. So I guess there is a tad of pepper in here. Uh, strength uh, probably uh, light plus, I think. Light plus. Bend comes down easy. Draw is okay. Construction, you can tell, is nice. You know, it's nice. Uh, what do I think of this cigar? I don't know. How much does this cigar cost? Anybody know? It could be a daily cigar, actually. This is not that bad of a cigar. It's actually pretty good. Depends on the price, though. Depends on the price. A lot of cedar. There is a little bit of sourness to it, too. But it's very little. Very little of sourness. Or, or if you want to call that citrusy. 8 to 9 bucks. Ah, the 8 to 9 bucks is not bad at all. This, I, I'll give this to be a, a worthy cigar of 8 to 9 bucks. It burns quite slow in comparison. It burns quite slow. It's quite thick of a cigar. So yeah, this is definitely worth the price. This is definitely worth the price if it's at that price range. It burns slow. It, it draws nicely. It burns nicely. The flavor is definitely there. The ash is white uh, with a little bit of brownie, brownness to it. Uh, it could be because I'm smoking quite quickly. Uh, but it's a tight tightly rolled cigar with the light draw so i don't know definitely what that is it's a, it's a really nice cigar it's a really nice cigar there is a big vein on this one though but it's still a good cigar still a good cigar how about you guys are you guys on the second cigar yet i'm on the second cigar somebody should be close to a second cigar oh yeah Life is good when you get to enjoy your life, you know. In moderation, enjoy the time, music, friendship, good stuff. You have had not have okay. I remember I had the best draw. Okay. I'm not being this agent for now. Okay, just finish with your pipe. Time to refill. It's time to refill, William. Haven't tried. You definitely want to try one out. This is not bad at all. Not bad at all. How about on the other side? How about that Brazilla? How about that Brazilla? Is that almost done? I don't. I hope you're not smoking Brazilla really fast. It's gonna kick you in the ass. Casa Cuba. I don't know what size looks like. A robusto. Robusto is actually pretty easy to, to, to kind of tell the size. Robusto is usually just under the size of the thumb. How, like, you know, three, three quarter of, a, of the thumb are usually the width of a Robusto. Depends how big your thumb is, though. Central Penza is a pretty good cigar. Romeo and Giulietta can get a little bit of iffy here and there. I think the quality of Romeo and Giulietta had went down a little bit because I they, I used to love it. I, and when I re recommend people to to train their their palate, Romeo and Giulietta is definitely one that I recommend people to try their palate with because it has this really pronounced almond flavor to it. And once you catch it, you really just you know you learn how to ignore that tobacco flavor. So I tell people to try that. But lately, lately the Romeo and Giulietta that I try hasn't lived up to my expectation. I don't know what happened with their quality and assurance or whatever. It's just not as good lately. I don't know why. Because I used to love it. I used to love it. Oliva rep was in local BMN. Nice. Nice. Reserva Rio. Yes. Reserva Rio is the one that I always recommend people to, to try. Uh, and that's the one that has a, a, a very pronounced almond. Very pronounced almond. And, and I really like it. It's just lately, there is always problems. Like the ones I, I had in the store, I either bad draw or just blending flavor. I don't know why. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. So I, I've been trying to stay away from Romeo and Juliet lately. UPS broke down. What? I got my pap to buy, but UPS broke down in... In... Would, so pipe won't be here until oh okay okay the anejo is my favorite uh 
real music. Well, I, Anejo is kind is is aged. It just means old. So it's it's just aged more. You know, I meant to do the review for the the Avo East Edition, but I ordered the West Edition. So that review I will do when I receive my West Edition. I'm already disappointed. So like, you know, I'm not putting too much of hope on it because I'm disappointed that they use a paper box. You know, when they use a paper box, it kind of got my hope down a lot already. So... When I review it, we'll find out. When I review it, we'll find out. I, I really don't have much hope on that. So my mother-in-law is an a-ho. Mm, no, I'm technically I'm an a-ho. So <laughs> you just you know, you know, just wonder what, what you want to call it. An I know I lay hope means old or aged. Yeah, the box is sad. Like paper box for limited edition. Sad. That's very sad. That's very sad. I'm only buying for the for the sake of it that I can try both, but you know it's really really sad. Paper box, paper box for limited edition. What the hell are you thinking? What are you thinking? Paper box. If you would have bought. Avo Jr. Avo Jr. can get out of here. Avo Jr. See that my respect for Avo Jr. is like I have less I have re less respect for Avo Jr. than this little Ben right here. That's how much respect I have for him. All right, look, this is even less than this Ben here. You know, if I have respect for you, even if your cigar sucks, I will still try and smoke it. For him, I don't even want to try his cigar. I don't even have a tad of try. How dare you ask me that question, Star Hyper? How dare you ask me that question? That got my blood pressure off the roof. I, the next time I play, I had to go directly to the ER. I had to go directly to the ER if I ever turned that game on again. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. That game got me like I. I will break my controller, for turning on that game. All right. That game is harmful for your mental health. Right? Anybody have a mental health issues? Don't play that game, all right? It, that game makes me speechless. That's how. That's. It's a video game uh, based on a uh, like a Ronin samurai that serves like you know. It's a it's it's a samurai game. It's a samurai game. Okay. That samurai game is so hard. That you will literally die over somebody slash you one time or twice. If you get hit twice, you die. All right, you you just die. All right, that that game. All right, I'm so glad I didn't buy that game in physical form because I'll probably burn it. All right, I'll break it in half and burn it just out of stress, just out of pure stress. And I think I'll relieve any stress that I have by just go psh, and just go burn it, burn it. Okay, that that game drives me insane, insane. And what's really annoying is that you know, when you go back and heal yourself, all the enemy just beat respawns. No, not a game health, not a game for you, for your health. If you care for your health, you care for your your sanity, you care for your blood pressure. Uh, you care for your sugar intake, uh, diabetes, uh, 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 cancer. Don't play that game. All right, that will give you brain cancer. That game in California is known to cause brain cancer. I can't play that game. I can't play that game. The game I'm playing right now is called River City Girls. Very good for my health. River City Girls is what I've been playing. Now, if you never played anything that calls River City Ransom, you're missing out. I grew up playing that game, so 
when when somebody made a、uh, English version, it was kind of disappointing because they speak English.、Uh, called River City、uh, Girls, which still based on the River City Girl. I play on Xbox. I don't want to play on small screen. I want to see a big screen. So, is that one of those anime game? No, it's based on a story, and they they kind of made it as like a. Tribute to the original story. The original story has uh, 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 Kunio and Ricky, and the the game basically say those two guys got arrested. I mean,、uh, kidnapped, and then you gotta get their girlfriend, well, their presumed girlfriend,、uh, to rescue them. And you play the girls. It's just it's a beat 'em up game. It's a beat 'em up game. Just side scoring, beat 'em up, beat 'em up game. And nothing is more fun than just simply beat them up because there's, you know, it's like Double Dragon. If you play Double Dragon, it's similar to that kind of game. Actually, very fun. Actually, pick up trash cans to throw at people. It's great. It's great. I love beat beat them up game. This, aside from the story, there's no goal. Just go back and forth and beat people up and get more skills and beat them up harder. That's the kind of game that I should be playing. But to be really honest with you guys, I don't have that much time to play game anymore. Like I spend all the time packing stuff, so I don't have time to play video games. <laughs> Double Dragon is great, but like you know, before before、uh, River City, there was no Double Dragon. You know, River City pretty much invented side score game, pretty much invented the gym uh, uh, exercising game, sports.、Uh, River City was in everything. Like one of the first sports game was、uh, River City Dodgeball. <laughs> so you know, River City invented all the games. Love River City. The guy kind of gets sweeter as it goes. Planning twenty twenty one is probably between midnight and. 3 a.m. Like that's what I was thinking. Like you know, every time sitting there, I'm doing nothing. Maybe I'll be reading a book or something, or reading a、uh, uh, client's、uh, business plan and stuff like that. I will start thinking about, oh, what should we do next on the group and all that stuff. Is this kind of feasible? Is this feasible? Is this not feasible?、Uh, how much budget will we need? That's the time I think about that kind of stuff. So yeah, 2021 is usually between midnight and 3 a.m. Between 4 a.m. and 6 a.m. Uh, I look through, you know, things that I ordered,、uh, you know, for the group.、Uh, is there like you know production issues, stuff like that? That's what I do between, you know, four to six a.m.、Uh, between six、uh, a.m. to noon time, that's the time where usually my client calls and then you know talk for a few hours. I like to play Battlefield and Red Dead Redemption Two. I have not played Red Dead Redemption Two just because people,、uh, because of South Park.、Um, Is that South Park? Well,、uh, yeah, South Park episodes. It's, it's basically say that you had to take so long to play that. All right, Jason, talk to you later.、Uh, it just, it, it, you know, it just say that you have so much to do, you had to take so long to play that game. So I just didn't want to commit to that kind of amount of time. If I had the time right now, I probably go get、uh, Dragon Quest Eleven just to play that. You know, I don't even have time for that. You know, I literally give up playing、uh, one of the. Assassin's Creed Black Flag, because I know that there's three hours just on the boat. I don't have that kind of time to play on the, you know, just for one spot. So I think I couldn't commit to it, so I don't play it. I just taste a little bit sweetness and a little bit of licorice. I don't particularly like licorice flavor, but good thing the cedar kicks through relatively quickly, so it's not like all licorice. I don't like licorice. I end up playing poker for like an hour. See, I don't mind to play poker, you know, especially with friends. That's totally fine because you chat, you smoke, and then you got kind of the time will fly by. And I have to be honest with you, Assassin's Creed,、uh, the the Odyssey, I didn't even finish that game. I just don't have the time for it.
Why will you play poker on the game? Like, you gotta play game inside a game? You got too much time if you do that. That's like saying that I wanna smoke inside the game. Like, you take your character to go sit down for one hour and smoke a cigar in the game. And watch him smoke. Press A to draw. Press B to cut. Press X to light it up. Oh my god. Are we at that? Skinner. Just because it's on the internet doesn't necessarily mean it's true. Alright, don't believe that. And let's say if he did. I don't think it's as blown up as it, it, it seemed to be, you know. You know, how many times do you outside, do you, do you always go, you know what, I'm gonna fucking kill you guys. As a joke or as a thing, I, I don't really think that anybody will just take the risk and just basically say, you know what, I'm gonna go out and get a shotgun and shoot you all. You know, I really think that he probably said it in a in a playful way or something like that. I can't I, I can't imagine somebody who just you know over getting fired and said or over getting laid off or whatever, like go uh saying I'm gonna kill you all and be really serious about it. I really cannot think of that. So I really think that it's it's not as uh Yeah, I don't really think that it's not as serious as it, it made up to be. Because that particular article just blown it out of proportion. I really think that that article blown it out of proportion. Fuck you guys, I'm gonna shoot you all. You know, it's like, I, 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 I really think it's that. It's not like a serious threat. It's more like, you know, in, it's just like whatever, fuck you guys, you know, I'm out of here kind of thing. You know, I, I really think it's that. I, I can't imagine someone that's always, you know, in the cigar industry is nice and and I, I think he does like streaming and stuff like that it, it's like that you know even the owner or the store of people is like you know you guys need to stop believing that kind of stuff because it's not as serious as you, as you think you know a lot of time if the police showed up or whatever and uh, you know maybe that he was just really mad at that time and they just like just in case so you know he's he did say you know fuck you guys I'm gonna shoot you all and, and the police writing the police report and here you go, you gotta write a, 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 a whole series of document about it. It's blown out of proportion. You know, I really think it's blown out of proportion. I can't imagine he was being serious. A lot of people are angry, they say things they don't mean. And I really think that it's just that. Like I was angry so I decided to say, yo, fuck you all kind of thing, you know? He had popped his phone and his computer and the camera switched to look at his TV and he was playing game and got busted big time. Conference called me and he just popped out his phone and computer and the camera was switched to look at his TV. Oh, yeah. Not a good idea, I guess. Not a good idea. Not a good idea. So yeah, don't take things and blow them out of proportion. I think I'm pretty sure everything has multiple sides of story. And in this case, it, I think it may be true that he said it, but I don't think it was in a really threatened way, you know. But I might eat my own words. You know, who, who knows, next few weeks you might see a news that, you know, a shootout in Famous Cigars or something like that. I don't know. Is swatting still a problem in the gaming community? Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. People are still calling swat. Uh, that sucks. That's kind of... Yeah. Shouldn't you turn off your TV right away? Like, how do you not know that it's like viewing your TV? I don't know. Of a dumbass. I, I don't know what to say about that. I mean, that's just uh, kind of ask for it. Kind of ask for it. You're working. We're playing game. Come on. 
Famous Four has gone down on quality control over time. Uh, see, I can't smoke. I can't say anything for that because if you know me already, I don't really buy online cigar shops. Other than Cigars Daily, I really rarely, almost never buy from any other cigar shop. I let you go to a physical shop or go uh, call the shop that I trust to send me cigars. And 90% of the time, I just call Davidoff. So, you know, they did or even message. I don't, I don't even call them. I message them and say, this is what I want. And, you know, I don't really buy online. You know, so like that, that's one of the things I can't really spoke, speak for another online shop because I don't trust online shop, to be really honest with you. I trust physical shops. And unless I've been there and I know the quality, I really wouldn't buy from them, period period okay now i only bought from famous cigar one time all right and it's because steve saka asked me to ninety percent time i buy my cigar online all right start however have a good night so what does that cigar cost uh it was like 200 something dollars for a box of cigars that was the time when I tried to get this thing here, the Squatchy, Saka Squatch. Um, I didn't want to go to the event. I was, and he just basically says, "Here, go go talk to this guy." So he contacted the owner, and then uh, the owner contacted me, and then basically asked me to buy a box of cigar. He was sending with it. So that's that. Have I got from Zero Cigar? I won't even be caught dead in there, so I will definitely not buy from them. <laughs> I literally said that I'd rather smoke a Gurkha than walk in there for 10 minutes. Cigar International and Corona Cigar Company are legit. Well, um... Yeah, no. <laughs> I can't smoke for that. Uh, I mostly buy cigar online too, JJ. I have plenty of cigar around me. And we'll buy, usually buy singles. What's wrong with Zio? Um, it has to do with my respect for the owner. <laughs> it has to do with uh, my respect for the owner. If I don't have uh, respect for them, you know, I there, here's the thing: there's plenty of cigar shop in there. There's you know, if you search for cigar shop online, you gotta get multiple, 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 multiple cigar shop. Why do I have to go out of my way to buy from them? Especially if I you know, if I have no respect from their owners, I really don't want to buy their cigars. It's not like they're any cheaper or anything, so you know it's not like they're they're like oh my god blow you out of the water and uh, that kind of shop that you really like you know what because they're the only place I can get cigar from so you know uh, the the owner can be an ass and I'll still buy from them. no you know I just I just. Yeah, well, Skinner, you, you you have to you have to know this, all right? If you buy from Zero Cigar, you're making money for that guy that you don't respect. If you don't respect the person, why will you add, want them to make more money? Like, why will you want the guy to make money? Like, you're paying for his next boat, next car, next thing. I don't want him to have good things out of my pocket. <laughs> Christopher, I'm telling you, I rather I literally tell Brendan Wells that. I, like he's like, do you want to visit Zio's? I would rather smoke a, a, a Gurkha cigar than walk in there for ten minutes. I go to cigars daily. In fact, I'll be there uh, October twelfth. So if you're around the area, go to cigars daily to meet me. We'll have a uh, smoke. There is a reason, but it's not the reason that you think. Cigars Daily is because his contract ended. All right, Cigars Daily left TNT because his contract ended. So JJ, don't mistake in that like you know uh, uh, that Tim left because he got kicked or because he got forced out or anything. He left because his contract ended, and his father-in-law says, you know, "Why don't you you're good at doing this? Why don't you just open your own?" I still shop from TNT. 
just that their website sucks, so I literally had to go there and buy it. But Bradley has I have zero respect for him, so I wouldn't want him to make my money. Alright, I can I can spend my money anywhere else and, and if the person's friendly, it's good. Uh you know, uh, uh, uh I smoke with the person, I know the person, and the person is nicely treated to all other people, then he, he, he had my respect. I don't mind him to make my money. You know, it's just, here you go, money, there you go, take it. But Bradley is one guy I would not want him to have a dollar of my money. Yes, go to embargo, go to embargo. So, uh, the, the Cigars Daily is going to be October 12th, and embargo is going to be October 11th. Uh, what happened between you and Bradley, if you don't mind me asking? Nothing. Literally nothing. It's how he treats people, especially how he treated uh, Matinga Maya. How he treat, how he, you know, how he opened his store in uh, 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 in the same area as the guys daily. That's just an ass. Okay, he's been an ass. So I, I don't, I don't want him to make the money. Uh, TNT YouTube channel went down the two because they had that jackass and weird woman after Tim and Brad. Well, the weird woman laughed and the jackass would laugh, so. Which jackass? Oh, you mean, you mean Harrison? Harrison's okay, he just, you know, he just, they, they're just different. By the way, Harrison is part of our group too. <laughs> I, am I going to TNT as well? I probably will. I probably will. I can't make it. kind of over the time period but I'm still smoking this cigar so we're gonna go over just a little bit but yeah uh, in terms of deal he did nothing to me he did nothing to me but I, I, I consider Tim as my friend and I consider Martina as my friend like he's, he's ass to my friends that's not acceptable to me you know if anybody being asked to my friends I, I cannot take that so I do not want to I do not want to do that I do not want him to make even a dollar out of me That's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. So I don't, you know, this. Like I said, there's plenty of cigar places I can buy cigar from, and literally, aside from some specialty boutique cigars, I, I, you know, I wouldn't go out of my way to find it. I, I always go my normal places. It's hard to fill the shoes of how Tim and you know even Bradley uh, build that show. And you can tell you know once Tim left, the Bradley show is not the same anymore. So it, the 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 soul that we actually like from the show is actually Tim. That's why when you you expecting the same kind of show from Harrison, you know, obviously you're not gonna get that, right? Your expectation is different. You gotta have a different expectation, right? It's like the late night show with Jay, uh, Jay Leno, and then you know now you replace it with the, I don't know what's his name, Steve, Stephen. You're not gonna get the same kind of show, right? If you can't get the same kind of show, you can't have the same kind of experience, uh, experience and expectation. So yeah. It's just not, you cannot expect the same thing. And a lot of people went into the show expecting the same thing. You're not going to get that. It's different personality, different kind of people. You know, what you want to do is just have him come up and say, uh, uh, you know, uh, hey, this is Tim, you're watching Cigars Daily. You're not going to get that, you know? I support TNT as well, and I really want to take my time to go visit TNT, 
uh, and and kind of get to know them much better because uh, I don't know the uh, the people there that well other than Harrison, and I only I only hang out with Harrison one one a couple days, so you know. They didn't try to be Tim and Brad. They he didn't. When does the last time you see Tim and Brad like this and start chatting about weird stuff? And they were literally having like a, almost like a husband and wife fight. So it's it's totally different. I don't see them as that. Uh, I do see them that the the show has a little it needs to be worked out. Uh, when Tim makes his show, he plan it out ahead. He plan it out how he want to do the show ahead of time, and and they don't. So that's the problem. That's the problem. Plus, uh, they they have problem with their management on how they want to do the show. So there's gotta be, you know, obviously some clash here and there, and then they're not gonna get the show that you want, right? So that that's why there's a there's a problem. Th that's why there's a problem. I would love for you know Harrison to say, hey guy, hey, come over, let's do a live show together, and we can hang out for the night. You know, I'm totally fine with that, and then we can see what he did wrong and what he did right, right? So. If we can do a show over there, he can learn from that, right? I want to try Fox Press Rebellion Cigar from Cigar. I think they discontinued that. Uh, my team, I, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I think they discontinued that. They, they no longer make those. Uh, well, the first one was obviously they don't know, they haven't had an idea what they want to do, right? The second one is a little bit better, but then as they go, it still doesn't have a clear direction. I don't have a clear direction. I just chat about whatever I can chat without you guys, with, with you guys. I literally don't have a, a direction either. Like Tim, he's really focused on what he want to talk about, so. Oh, that's what it is. I remember he had a show about like the new band, right? He's showing the new band is actually pretty cool looking. So I just wasn't sure like what they were doing with it. But yeah, yeah, try that. I mean. What? Well, that's the thing. I am not a business. I am just your legion leader and I really just enjoy the time with you guys. I really just enjoy chatting with you guys and to see what's going on lately and the update with you guys, what's going on with the legion, that kind of stuff. So I, I chat without any, about anything. I don't have a direction. I'm not sponsored. I'm not paid. I'm just here. For them, they're business, right? So they kind of have to go with the direction. If there's no direction, it kind of makes it pointless, right? It kind of makes it pointless and this is why that show became a little bit a letdown because you are there looking for them to review a cigar that you might purchase. I tell you exactly what I feel about a cigar and, and it, do, it doesn't have to be something we're selling. I'm not pressing you to buy anything. I'm not suggesting you to buy anything. That's why the chat is slightly different. For them, as a business, you kind of have to have a direction. What what stands out about the cigar? Let me know what stands out about the cigar. What is Why do people buy the cigar? Uh, and that kind of stuff. So, ah, uh, it went out. It went out. Yeah. So you know that. That's what makes it different. That's what makes it different. For them, their show is about the cigar. They need to make the cigar shine. Now, two people talking about cigar, two people talking about what to do with the cigar and what's the difference between the cigar, things about cigar. For us, it's a legion chat. We can chat about anything. That's why it goes direct, different directions. Sometimes the, the, the conversation goes out of nowhere. But for them, they can't do that. When they do that, that makes the show has no direction and you don't know what you're watching for. You don't know what you're watching for, and that's the problem. So, so if 
if they want to fight on the show for any reason, it had to be about the cigar, right? But they didn't do that. That's that's where the show falls falls short. You know, that's that's where the the, the show kind of falls down from. Uh, you know, if you don't have a clear direction where you're talking about, you need to involve you need to involve the people that's in the show. I involve all of you guys because I feel like I'm chatting with you guys. All right, that's what I'm doing. I'm chatting with all of you. For someone like Tim, he selectively choose the, the comments that he want to read because he have a direction where the show is going and for uh, TNT Cigar that's where it's missing the interaction is missing and then the direction is missing that's why you feel like the show is, is, is not organized is missing an element is not what you're expecting that's why the show is bad but I think that you know it could be corrected you know it could be corrected the thing is that they need to plan ahead what they want to talk about. <laughs> this is longer than usual. I just don't want to waste the cigar because this cigar wasn't bad. You know, this cigar wasn't bad. But yeah, I mean, I understand all of you have something to do. So why don't we end it here right now uh, so that you guys can do whatever you need to do now <laughs> and, and not having to talk nonsense with me. But... You know, I just wanna... Dana became a full-time erotic pho photo online personality, I guess. I guess that's what happened. So yeah, Dana became an erotic photo personality on Instagram. I have not seen any of the photos, so I really cannot tell you how erotic it is. But hey, if you if you seen it, let me know how it is. I I don't I, I have not seen it, so I cannot tell you what's the level of erotic. I just know it's erotic. It costs money to see it, so I'm I'm not paying to to see erotic photos. I'm Asian. You know, you know what? What's the benefit of being Asian? I really think that he's just finding a reason to fire her because, you know, other job and this job. You know, which guy is gonna complain about going to a store where the woman is also having an erotic picture out there? I I don't know. I don't know. I think that that's just the reason. He just wants his family to do it and no one else. So all the money can go to them all. That's what I think. And one of the things about Bradley that I did not like is that there was one time. If you go back to the shows, uh, especially around the show where Tim goes out to open his own. He said that he would never open his own. He said he, he, said he can. He had plenty of money. He can open his own if he wanted to. And he just don't want to open it. He, does, he doesn't need to. And yet, after Tim finished, he goes out and open his own. What does that mean? Not only that he went out to open his own, he dragged the, the only other person who's uh, you know involved with the show with him. You know, on short notice. On short notice. So, you know, that's just fucked up. That's just fucked up. Right? That's just screwed up. You know, you literally try to destroy a, a company that you're contracted to kind of bring up. That, that, that's just not cool. That's just not, just not cool. And me, bring, being a consultant and strategist, I hate people like that. It's not he probably got the money from his dad. It's he did. His father owns a majority share of that cigar company, that, you know, Zio Cigars. Right, his father is the money, so his father paid the money and he was able to open that. And obviously, they're running out of money, so they had to get rid of everybody and use his daughter to do all that stuff instead. It's just come on, come on. Right, so you know the whole thing is you know come on. If you cannot put your dignity your respect on the words that you say you got nothing all right people are respected for what they do and what they say 
And you gotta be a hypocrite and go do things and then open your store right across from Cigars Daily. Yeah, you don't have any. Put the dignity on the floor and step on it because you want the money. Right. And, and... It's not the yelling that I have a problem with. You know, Bob the Cigar Guy is known to ha have his yellings. BAM! <laughs> you know, he does that. So, I enjoy it. I, I don't know. The way Bob the Cigar Guy say, BAM! Okay, fam! That kind of lift my spirit up every day. <laughs> when I see it, I'm like, oh, yeah. Let's go! Yeah! You know? Yeah. Zio Cigar is where the old Cigar Daily is across the street. So yeah, I mean, all that combination of things just make me don't, I don't really care. I don't really care. I don't have to buy a cigar phone. And I, I can't tell you that he wouldn't care about us talking to him about him all the time anyway. He was just like, ah, oh, fuck those guys. Those guys had no idea what I'm talking about. He's this close to a Tiki Torch guy. I feel like his personality is that close to a Tiki Torch guy. You know, his personality is like that. He feels like, I don't give a shit about all of you. I, I just gotta enjoy my fame and power and open a shop, expect everybody to join a Zio Cigar. And I really don't like how he make like Zio Team 6 kind of making fun of the military. Cause I'm all for military and, and I think I should respect everything that has to do with the military. But naming your thing Zeal Cigar 6 is just pisses me off. I don't know. It pisses me off so much. Why would I want to imitate that guy? <laughs> Joseph, why would I imitate that guy? Yeah, but Tim doesn't like to pick fights. So you're not gonna see Tim talking more about Bradley. And I don't understand why people constantly ask about him. Like, is, keep asking about Tim, does he talk to Bradley? If this happened to you, you're a business owner, and all of a sudden, a friend uh, decides to be your, your competitor and copies everything that you do, you wouldn't be happy talking about this guy either. Right? You wouldn't want to, you know, it's like this guy just become like that. So why 2021 not 2020? Because people need time to save up money and vacation time. You know what I'm saying? So that's the problem. And that that's it's, it's really hard to talk in the perspective of Tim because I know he doesn't pick fights. And he might have a problem with you, but he just won't talk about it, you know? And especially, it's, it's a competitor. You know, now, now, um, obviously, Zero Cigar is a competitor. What's happening in 2021? 2021, we have a uh, Legion meeting. Everybody, we gotta, we gotta go to New York and meet there. So, uh, for those people who didn't have a chance to meet other members, that's a place. Because. Uh, it's gotta be a blow up meetup, okay? We gotta do meetup, we gotta do giveaways, we gotta do gift bags, we gotta, oh, we gotta do all kind of stuff. So, that's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. We gotta do a big meeting. It's gotta be in September. September. 2021, September. So it's not too hot, it's not too busy, and you know, we'll, we'll, we'll work our way around. So yeah, I, I just... It's, it's hard to talk about those people because I just feel like if you watch their show early on and watch the show now, you can see a big shift in personality. And, and that's what you can, you can like, do they really care about their fans anymore? You know? SSL backpacks. You'll see that next week, actually. Manhattan, New York, NYC, New York, Manhattan, New York. So it's gotta be a absolutely cool. 
It's gotta be absolutely cool thing to do. I, I'm so excited to do it. I, I, I think about it all the time. I'm looking at the calendars that are so far away. You know, sometimes it's amazing to, to think that Shadow Smokes Legion is only, only nine months old. Shadow Smokes Legion is only nine months old. All right. That's pretty cool. Nine months. I mean, yeah, it's gonna cost quite a bit of money, but it will be a trip worth to go, you know? It will be a trip worth going, you know? You know what's killing it? Martin Amaya is killing it on his channels. He's going crazy. He's involved in everything right now. Martin Amaya, do you remember when Martin Amaya first made his video? He, he, he first made his video on, on uh, uh, acrylic containers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Martin Amaya has went from zero to a hero. And now he's like sponsored by, you know, other cigar shops. You know, he tells you where he buys his cigars. He, I don't know how, how he's, uh, he's yeah, but then he's he's going up there. He's from zero to hero. So, you know, if you're a new member and you don't know Martin Amaya and he just invited you, you're obligated to go to all his videos, old and new, and click a like on every single one of them. Just, just so you know, you're kind of obligated. I look at plane ticket, it'll be around 250, 300 round trip. Yeah, going to New York is not like, uh, fly to New York is not gonna be expensive. Fly to New York is not gonna be expensive, all right? Times Square Hotel is actually not expensive. All right, there's plenty of hotel there, it's not too expensive. Times Square, inside Times Square is actually not expensive. Manhattan is when it gets expensive. And the, and the distance between Manhattan and, and Times Square is like four blocks, so. And especially in September, kids are going back to school already, so it's not gonna be too expensive. Staying in New York is expensive, it depends where you are. There are a range between like $99 a night, where you can get two beds, to like, oh, it's thousands, but then $99 a night is actually not too bad. And if you wanna share with other members, just chat with them, you know, if you share with other members, it's actually not that expensive. Save up for 2021 is the way to go. Save up for 2021. That's that's gotta be. It's gotta be a good one. It's gotta be a good one. I, I'll make sure to do my best on planning out. So, uh, we'll do something just for that event. I'm telling you guys, and it's gotta be. We also gotta do T-shirts for the just that event. But you will be out of pocket for you guys. But we have it pre-made, so it'll be even cheaper. All right. We just count the people, uh, get the sizes and all that stuff, print it out. We'll bring boxes and boxes of clothes over there. Yeah, you know, plan out your stuff that's not part of the event. You gotta have so much fun, okay? Because New York City is a tourist attraction on its own, all right? Going there is experience, all right? Just treat it as a good vacation. Treat it as a good vacation. There's multiple different cigar lounges there too. There is, uh, the Monte Cristo is also there. Uh, um, Nat Sherman's there. They all have lounges. How many days? There's the event is only for one day. The event is only for one day, but you can plan out other days to do all kind of stuff. Don't just go there for one day. Go there for a few days so you can experience all the food, tourist attractions, go to the Freedom Tower, that kind of stuff. You know, go visit some of the tourist attractions. It's gonna be nice. Even better. If you don't have to bring your wife, it's all you. All right. So, we're way over the time. Uh, we're way over the time. I don't know how 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 easy. And it, it is very easy to go way out of. I don't say. Thirty dollar for a Big Mac meal at McDonald's. You can spend less than thirty dollar on some of the foods. I'm telling you, there's plenty of places where like ten dollar will make you fall. So. Don't worry about that. Just plan it out. Plan it out. So we're way out of time. We're way out of time.
I know, I know William always needs that extra time, right? William, yeah? You always need that extra time. But yeah, I mean, if you... We will tag a weekend. We will tag a weekend, so that is easier for everybody. But we'll probably do the day before the weekend uh, to, to get there, just so that it's easier. Because when you do weekends, a flight ticket is slightly more expensive, so is hotels. So you kind of want to... No, we'll tag a weekend or something like that. All right, so yeah, I ain't gotta finish the, the rest of the cigar and the drink off screen. So I will see you guys next week. All right, next week. Uh, you know, if you're on Facebook, you're already in the group, you'll see me on and off Facebook all the time. So uh, I'll see you guys there. But the show is on Wednesday and Saturdays, uh, 9 p.m. Eastern time. And you know, any other things, we, we keep it in the Legion and we can just talk about it in the Legion. So have a good night, everybody. Have a good weekend. Have a good Sunday. And I'll see you guys next time. New members, don't forget to go introduce yourself. And uh, yeah, bye guys. Be saucy. James is not here. I don't have to tell him to behave. But yeah, have a good night, everybody. Bye.